Hi, I'm Matthew Carr of Southeast Games. I'm going to do a very quick video on integrating the mesh particle renderer we've developed into an existing um, project. So I've got the bootcamp demo here. Uh, I'm going to grab the soldier, grab his M4. He shoots out these particles on the surfaces that he hits. So particle dirt, we'll take the prefab for that. Create a new one called particle dirt rock. We'll just bring it into the world and have a look at it here. So. What we'll do with that is add a second particle system to it as a child. Call this one particle rocks. Reset the position. Then we're going to start it from this one small point. We're going to give it a bit of random size. Um, won't survive very long these rocks. We'll just kill them off quickly. 30 is about right. Um, 2.5 on the Y of that transform. We're going to give it some random rotation to start with and make it rotate randomly. Now you'll see we're still using the original um, particle renderer component here. Um, it's a good way of demonstrating that our mesh particle renderer works exactly the same as the existing billboard particle renderer. So let's bring these particles down, give them a bit of random force. And if those particles are rocks, then they would look pretty good. Um, we'll make sure it's set to one shot like the parent. And uh, let's delete the old particle renderer and add those rocks. So the mesh particle renderer. We need to give it a rock mesh. Uh, rock tiny f. And building speed is actually the material for rock tiny f. Now since we've got random roll well, any rotation for these rocks, we need to actually calculate normals and tangents. And you see our rocks are casting shadows, got the correct lighting, and they look good. So let's jump into here, apply the change to the prefab, delete that object, let's get back onto the M4, place particles there with particles there, rock, hit play. And now you'll see when we shoot the surfaces, our rock mesh is actually instantiated as part of the particle system. It's a nice visual element, having actual geometry particles coming out of surfaces as well. So you can imagine having chunks of concrete coming out of concrete being shot, or chunks of dirt bouncing on the ground with our world particle colliders, you know, casting shadows, receiving shadows, any material you want. Um, it's a nice visual element to any scene. Thank you very much.